So build a better world, not doomsday machine. Go. Okay. So, so these notes might not be much help to me because I thought it was doomsday machine. <laughs> I'm going to say a lot of things tonight that are wrong. And that's okay. And I want you to do your research, but also realize that you say things that are wrong all the time. So cut me a break. <laughs> I like to call this thing a vehicle. It is the most effective vehicle to date we have for visualizing, quantifying, and making sense of billions of bytes of data. I say to date because I don't want us to lose sight of the fact that what we know as the best practice today is not going to be the best practice tomorrow. There are things that will be discovered that we have no idea about right now. This thing that I'm talking about, this vehicle, it manages traffic flow. It evaluates weather systems, all with ones and zeros. It encourages us to take more steps, buy in bundles, swipe right, leave a birthday message, all with ones and zeros. Nobody in this field knows everything there is to know, and don't be intimidated by folks who try to convince you that these are very complex algorithms and sophisticated processes that, and equations that generate a set of power redundancies and feedback loops and blah, blah, blah. Curiosity-driven discovery paves the way to curiosity-driven experimentation and results. Be curious. We were built, human beings were built to be curious. And this, this vehicle that I'm talking about, it's for the curiosity and the curious in all of us. So you know, you're thinking about something and it, you just won't, it just won't let you go. And night after night, it's keeping you up and you're like, oh, I wish I could do this. I wish there was a way to do this. And finally, it clicks with you. This is the way you want to do it. So you try, you go through this process, and your process fails the first time. And you try it again until it works a little bit. And then you try it again, and it works a little bit more. That is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about curiosity and discovery. This is data science to me. And with time and effort, you can learn to drive this vehicle. There are so many applications and functionalities, most of which do not even exist yet, like I mentioned earlier. And that's where all of you come in. I want everybody to be a data scientist. And what's so, com what's so terrific about this hugely complex field is that you can jump in wherever you are. It just takes time and effort. And if you're willing to put in that time and effort and connect with people who are experts in the field, not the ones I was talking about earlier, I think they know everything, but the people who are really approachable and want to share their knowledge, then you will discover things and you will watch a world unfold in front of you that you don't even know exists right now. And so a, a lot of you may be asking, well, where do I start? How do I do this? Um, especially when all of this started with what I'm saying is something so simple like ones and zeros. Um, the place that you start is your local library. And also by connecting with um, data science meetups and big data meetups and there are tons of resources online that can, that can get you into this field and get you um, to be more curious about what data science is. We have a local group here in Tulsa that we would invite you to be a part of, but wherever you are, where, when you travel, look up data science meetups. There's probably a meetup when you're on your vacation that you can engage with while you're there. People who are into data science, most of us, are really cool and really nice. And we invite strangers from other cities to come and, and engage with us all the time. 
Um, the last thing that I want to say is don't forget that nobody knows everything and you can make a con contribution. One more time for Tasha K. Douglas, everybody.